Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Maison African Motives are still working on Mathematics N2, uh, a continuation on trigonometry, uh, which is uh, actually the eighth class that we are having. So we shall just have a continuation, just uh, taking a closer look on what we had in the previous class, where we are working with uh, a condition where we will be given uh, quadrants, uh, remember that we talked about quadrants, how you take angles, um, in fact, uh, the trig in each and every quadrant. So now to have uh, a conclusion, we can conclude that each and every quadrant is going to be represented with a certain rectangle. So if you didn't watch the previous class, please make sure that you watch so that uh, you'll be able to understand what I'm explaining in this part. So we are going to understand that uh, each and every quadrant is going to be like this. Where this is negative x, this is positive x. Okay, this y is positive, this y is negative. This is error, this is the resultant error there, the resultant error, the resultant error here. Here y is positive here is negative and remember each and every quadrant has got a certain angle which is inside like that angle theta and this will be 90 degrees so that is how each and every quadrant is going to look like i'm not worried about this part in this class i'm worried about us knowing how to take angles how to represent angles in each and every quadrant okay so what is it that we have in each quadrant? Each and every quadrant consists of what is re referred to as the reference angle. The reference angle. What does this reference angle represent? It, it represents actually the acute angle, which is uh, an acute angle. We are talking about an angle where theta is greater than zero but less than 90 degrees so this theta is in between not 90 but in between so let's say this is uh, our theta so in the first quadrant we are not going to see effects of this uh theta which is the angle because i want to talk about the angles here so we're not going to see the effect of uh angles that we are going to have in each quadrant angles in each quadrant so like i say that uh, we are not going to see the effect in the first quadrant here because the theta is going to remain as it is okay but in the second quadrant this is what is going to happen in the second quadrant this is your theta here but the actual angle that you're going to take in the second quadrant is this one this is actually always your angle is taken from the positive horizontal axis in either anti-clockwise or clockwise direction so all angles which are taken in anti-clockwise direction like this they are positive angles taken in clockwise they are negative angles so that means what are we going to have in this case this is theta and we know that angles in a straight line they add up to 180 degrees so this angle is going to be 180 degrees minus theta that is what you're going to have in the second quadrant like this what about in the third quadrant because we are going to move to the third quadrant all right this is what you're going to have in the third quadrant that's your angle here so this is the small theta that you're talking about and the angle is taken from the positive in this direction so that it can be a positive. This is the angle that you are referring to. This is the actual angle, this one. From the positive in this direction. So as you can see, we have passed 180 degrees and we are including this theta. It's part of the angle. So this is going to be 180 degrees plus theta. So this time you add that is in the third quadrant okay in the fourth quadrant what is going to happen this is your theta here 
this is your theta here so you're going to take this angle guys from this point back to this part here this is going to be the whole angle so as you can see this is 360 degrees so we are just going to subtract this theta from 360 so this is going to be 360 degrees minus theta so that's how you take angles so in the first quadrant it is going to remain as theta in the second quadrant 180 minus theta where theta represents the reference angle so this theta is representing the reference angle and 180 minus theta is the actual angle in that quadrant because we're talking about the actual angle take note guys the actual angle versus the reference angle so these are actual angles versus the reference angle so the reference angle is the acute angle which is the one that you're going to use to find the actual angle so in, in each and every quadrant there is an actual angle that is going to lie in that quadrant so that is uh, actually the consideration of what is happening in this case all right so let's just uh, see the part now where we are going to involve uh, using a calculator so you're going to use this part another uh, in another part uh, you're going to understand me much better but this part we want to uh, use a condition we are going to be using uh, a calculator using a calculator to simplify trig functions so there is a part that you're just going to maybe be just be asked to use your calculator to simplify trig functions how do we do that guys uh, it's easier for course it's uh, direct guys let's say you want to simplify course 50 degrees uh, make sure that you, your calculator here is in degrees that's the first thing so let's see if it goes to be clear there's too much light this side okay but here there must be this uh, there must be a d here you must it must indicate a d here in your calculator all right so now let's say you want to evaluate course 50 you're going to use this button here course direct so it's course uh, it opens a bracket then you write 50 close the bracket then is equal to you obtain the value so in this course uh, 50 you're going to obtain 0 0.6427 yeah something like that that is what you're going to to have so that's how you actually answer this question you just use as you can see guys there's too much light here i'm trying to see where you can put this calculator maybe the here yeah something like that but that is the, the idea. I hope we understand what is happening. So it's just cos 50 there direct. All right. Then um, same as sine, same as tan. Uh, you're going to use the same thing. Because as we can see here, we've got uh, sine here. Yeah, some they call it sin, but this is sine, okay? So it's sine like this. It is a shortcut from sine like that. Cosine tan tangent. That is where these ones came from. So it's going to be sine theta, cos theta, okay, tan theta, like that. That is where these came from. All right, so anyways, uh, calling it, it's not, uh, it's not a big deal. You can call it sine. Someone can call it sin. It's one and the same thing. So cos 50 is direct, tan 50 uh, even sine is direct. But what about a condition where I want to simplify maybe sec? 50 degrees how am i going to simplify a sec because here there is no sec okay as we can see there is no sec here we do not have sec all these there is no sec so what am i going to do uh i know from the relationship that i uh, i talked about last time remember i told you that sec theta is equal to one over cos theta so it means if I want to simplify sec 50 degrees, I'm going to use one of our pause. Cos is there on my calculator. That is what they want you to. They just want you to simplify like that. So they will be testing you. Do you understand your calculator that much? So sec 50 degrees is equal to 1 over cos 50 degrees, just like 1 over cos theta. Or someone can write this as 1 divided by cos theta. Uh, which is cos 50 degrees it's one and the same thing all right so what am i going to obtain just going to use my calculator just like in the previous part uh, so it's going to be put a fraction this time so it's one over cos 
50 degrees then you close the bracket you're going to obtain 1.55 or something like that okay so this is the decimal that you're going to obtain then depending with the degree of accuracy that you're given you're going to round off according to the degree of accuracy that you will be given there so uh, sometimes mostly three decimal places which is 1.556 so this is the value of sec 50 degrees but we did it in another way just like um, court okay let's say it's court 30 degrees one and the same thing court i can't obtain court from the calculator there's no court so i'm just going to use the the ratio of court remember court it's one over ton all right so it's one over ton uh, from court theta which is equal to one over ton theta so it's going to be one over ton our theta in this case is the angle which is 30 degrees so this is 30 this is 30 this is theta this is theta so i can use my calculator to simplify uh tan 30 degrees i have this value for my calculus i'm just going to use uh, one over tan 30 degrees close the bracket that's going to be square root of three okay so which means this one also mostly it can be a condition where maybe they want you to use uh the special angles uh, where you'll be talking about those triangles where we obtain special angles so we shall talk about all those things but how do you simplify is something which is very very important so it's the same thing that you're going to do in each and every part now how can i write each quadrant in terms of the reference angle is important so knowing your quadrants guys is very very important all students take calculus which some they can use cast okay so some can use uh, cast like this or you can just use all students take calculus knowing this is your first quadrant your second quadrant your third quadrant your fourth quadrant this is very very important for you to note all right so sorry that's how they actually ask these questions guys so what you're supposed to know is the indication of quadrants then uh, how to apply maybe uh, using triangles also uh, and also to solve equations and uh, also the other part so you can be asked uh, on a condition way you'll be solving uh, trig equations so you can solve trig equations um you can be able to sketch trig functions right which is the one we, are, we shall talk about uh then um that's actually what we uh mostly need to work on so guys for the meantime let's just know and understand angles how do you relate angles equal angles like uh just knowing equal angles like this equal angles what do we refer to as equal angles okay equal angles are taken from the same point but in different directions uh thus angles are taken from the same point as angles taken uh, from the same point same point but in different direction but in different direction so that is what you are going to have there they are taken from the same point but in different direction how different are we to, how 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 are we taking these ones okay like you want to find an angle which is equal to 50 degrees okay 50 degrees is a positive angle which means it was taken in an anti-clockwise direction so the angle that is equal to 50 degrees should be taken from the same point but in an clockwise direction that's how you're supposed to do it so 50 degrees as you can see it lies in the first quadrant so i'm going to just represent in the first quadrant like this which is a positive like this all right so this is my 50 degrees so this is an indication that it's a positive angle so the angle here is taken in anti-clockwise remember this is anti-clockwise this is clockwise all right so we are going to take from the same point of 50 but this time in clockwise like this so this is another angle which is equal to 
50 degrees uh, so how are we going to obtain this angle okay we know that angles at a point guys they add up to 360 a complete revolution so 360 minus 50 degrees which is going to give you from your calculator something like 310 degrees but guys because of the direction that we are taking this direction we are, are moving in a clockwise direction where any angle which moves in a clockwise direction will possess a negative all angles in anti-clockwise are the ones which are or which remain as positive that's why 50 degrees you don't want to write a sign you just write it as 50 because a positive number there's no need for so what am i going to do in this case because if you are to cross check here this is 310 but because of the direction it's going to be a negative so it's very very important to note so which means 50 degrees is equal to minus 310 degrees but this one is a negative so we are having one which is a positive and another one which is a negative but those are equal angles sorry so actually equal angles that's how you take them uh like um, let's just say we want to find an angle which is equal to 300 degrees so the first thing is to represent the angle of 300 degrees okay so this is the indication guys 300 degrees which quadrant are we talking about it's more than 270 but less than 360 so which means we are talking about the fourth quadrant like this more than 270 but less than 3 suppose this is 0 90 180 270 then back to 360 so 300 is between so this is going to be my 300 because i'm going to indicate an arrow here to show that i'm moving in this direction which is actually the one that i'm indicating as a positive so this angle of 300 degrees is equal to the angle that is going to be taken from the same point but now in different direction which is this one so what is the equivalent of this angle so as you can see also complete revolution 360 minus 300 which is 60 degrees but because of the direction it's going to be a negative so which means 300 degrees is equal to minus 60 degrees once you know this relationship guys you're going to be answering a lot of questions and uh, it's going to be very very easier for us so we shall meet again in another class uh, actually working on the other part working on solving of equations trig equations and also sketching or drawing of trig functions uh, that is uh, trig waveforms or trig graphs which is going to be uh, the last part actually that we have in trigonometry then after that it's a matter of working on question papers and revision but for the meantime that's actually how these questions are going to be asked so we need to work on more questions from revisions and past exam papers so that we can understand what is actually going on so that's it guys for most african motives working on um, question papers and revisions um, on mathematics and to till we meet again